back and in today's video, I'm going to cut straight into it. A lot of coaches have been looking to tweak their programs. They want to either add new programs or make changes with existing programs that they offer to their clients. And I'm going to show you three simple ways to do this so you offer the right type of programs to your clients. Now, before I like fully go into those three points, I need to tell you something. This was a big mistake I used to make when I would create new programs, all right? I used to think, oh, well, I want to introduce this and I wouldn't tell my clients. And if I didn't tell my clients, then anytime I introduced a new type of program, it was a surprise. And it wasn't something that they wanted. It was something that I wanted. So there's a big difference between you just creating something. And I see this happen. This is a huge mistake coaches make right now when they try to create online programs or digital products or camps or clinics, like any of that stuff. If it's a brand new idea to you and you don't tell anyone about it and you don't get that validated first, it's not going to work the way it should. All right. So knowing that, these three tips here are going to massively help you when you create any new type of program within your business. So here's step one. Step one is the day that you think of the idea is the day that you go to your top 10 customers and tell them about your idea. And you see if it's something that they would want. You see if it's something that they would want added into what they're currently doing. All right, so I'll give you a great example. This is something that I do within soccer. I remember running it through enough uh, trial and error of trying to create things that people didn't want. And I realized, well, I need to go to my top customers and ask them, do you want this? Is this something that you feel like would benefit your child? And once I went to my top, I'd say 10 to 20 clients when I would create new ideas or create new types of programs, they would say, yeah, we would do that, or no, we wouldn't. And when they would say, yeah, we would do that, that's telling me, all right, there's a market for this. I have my actual clients who are paying me money right now to want to pay more if I implement this. So think about that. That's very different when you get validated by clients versus people who aren't paying. And that's why when you think of any new idea or any new type of program that you want to create within your business, you should always go to your current clients and ask them. That's number one, right? So number one, you go to your current clients, tell them what you're doing. Ask them if they would do it. Like, it's really not that difficult. Um, that is very different though than sending out a mass email to everyone and saying, hey guys, we're thinking about doing this. Because if you're like me, if you, if you track email stats, you know that probably less than 30% of the people are going to actually read that email. Right? So this is something, it needs to be a face-to-face -face type of conversation. That's number one. Number two, okay? When we, after we talk to clients, then we don't spend time dilly-dallying around or thinking, oh, well, I have this idea and I'm gonna go change it now, right? So this comes down to being very decisive, right? You execute and you are very decisive on what you just told your clients because they just said they would pay you for it. They just said they would want that. So why would we go back to the drawing board and then scrap it and then recreate something else that you haven't talked to them about? So this is why when you get instant feedback from step one, which is talking to your clients, now we have the data, we have the feedback and we take that and we say, okay, great. I'm going to execute on this idea. And this is where a lot of coaches uh, I would say this is where they get screwed. It's because they might go talk to clients and then they get the feedback and then they think their idea maybe isn't good enough. And then they try to spend the next six months making it perfect. And this leads to my third point here. You have to take imperfect action. If you are a perfectionist, if you think that it has to be perfect before you launch it, it's never going to get launched and no one's ever going to buy it. That's straight up That's how it works. Okay. So again, we talk to the clients, get the idea validated. 
if everyone's like, no, like we're not going to do that, then we need to create a different idea, right? But if you just go into thinking everyone's going to get it, you don't talk to anyone, no one's going to get it. I, I, I can guarantee you that, right? And that's very common. I see this happen all the time when coaches try to run camps and clinics. They want to plan this camp or clinic date. They think everyone's going to do it. They didn't talk to anyone about it before, before they launched it. So we need to have this set up very particular order. Talk to our current clients, right? People who are paying, like people who are actually paying you, let's talk to them. Will they pay more for this? All right. Or will they move from this program to this program? All right. Then from there, all right, we execute. We don't deviate the plan. We take what we have talked to them about. We execute on it. And third, we know that there's going to be mistakes, right? It's not going to be perfect. But if you try to dilly dally and you try to make it to where this is like the perfect type of thing, it's not going to happen right? It's not going to happen. And I'm going to give you two examples of the types of people that I work with, right? Example one, it's a coach who is like, all right, um, I have the steps. I'm just going to go do it. All right. Or it's the coach who has the steps. They know what to do, but they'll find a reason not to do it because they don't think it's perfect. The, the high majority of people that I work with right now are in category one. There are people in category two and they're, they're working on making those types of changes within themselves to, to realize you don't have to be perfect because you're not, right? You're not going to be perfect. My business will never be perfect. Um, I've never met anyone who has a perfect business and I've met a lot of people who are making over a million dollars a year right now. Their businesses are not perfect at all. They probably run into way bigger problems than people who are making $40,000 a year. Or me, <laughs> like that's that's facts, All right? So I hope this helps you out. Any new idea that you want to create, let's get it validated. So we talk to people, we execute, and it's not going to be perfect. And when you do that consistently, you'll be able to come out with newer types of programs to your audience every six months if you want, it, right? Every year if you want it, because. If you get stuck doing the same thing over and over and over, not only will your clients, that they get fatigued with that. We, we have to evolve, we have to change. And this is why it's important, you go talk to your clients. So I hope this helps you out. I know it's very straightforward. Um, if you need any help as far as structuring the way that you're, you're making sales with your business, the way that you're talking to prospects over the phone, if you want a stronger application process where you are attracting more committed clients, all I want you to do is send me a text. Text me at 210-960-5771 and I'd love to see if I can help you. That's it. I'll see you later.